Hi friends! Today we're diving into a topic that's fascinated people for centuries. Wealth. And not just any wealth. We're talking about the richest people in the history of the world. Now, this isn't just about the size of their bank accounts. It's about how they changed history, shaped entire nations, and left a legacy that people still talk about today. From emperors and industrial titans, to kings whose fortunes could rival entire economies, these are the five wealthiest people ever to walk the earth. Before we dive in, if you're enjoying these history lessons, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and let me know in the comments which historical figure was your favorite. Let's start with Mir Osman Ali Khan, the Nizam of Hyderabad. Ruling from 1911 to 1948, he was once considered the richest man in the world. At his peak, his fortune was estimated around $230 billion in today's money. That's some serious wealth. So, where did it all come from? His wealth was built on land holdings, mineral resources, and diamonds. Lots of them. He owned the Jacob Diamond, which is one of the largest in the world, which he reportedly used as a paperweight. What's surprising is that despite his fortune, the Nizam was known for his simple lifestyle. He wore plain clothes, drove an old car, and lived frugally compared to many other rulers of his time. But his impact went beyond his personal wealth. He funded schools, hospitals, and infrastructure in Hyderabad, shaping the city we know today. Though his reign ended when India became independent, his story remains one of the most fascinating examples of historic wealth. Next up, let's head over to the world of steel with Andrew Carnegie. Next on our list is Andrew Carnegie, a name synonymous with the rise of the American steel industry. Carnegie started from humble beginnings as an immigrant from Scotland, and through sheer determination, he built a fortune that's estimated at around $310 billion. That's right, Carnegie's wealth helped transform America into an industrial powerhouse. Carnegie's genius wasn't just in creating steel, but in revolutionizing how it was produced. By using new technologies and efficient business strategies, he was able to produce steel at a fraction of the cost of his competitors. This allowed him to dominate the industry and rake in massive profits. But Carnegie is just as famous for how he gave away his fortune as he is for how he earned it. In fact, he spent the last part of his life giving away nearly all of it to causes like education, libraries, and world peace. His philosophy? The man who dies rich, dies disgraced. Carnegie's legacy lives on in the countless libraries, universities, and foundations he funded, making him not just a symbol of wealth, but also of philanthropy on a massive scale. Now, let's move from steel to oil with a man whose name has become a symbol of immense wealth, John D. Rockefeller. Now, we can't talk about the wealthiest people in history without mentioning John D. Rockefeller. If there's one industry that defined American wealth in the late 19th and early 20th centuries, it's oil, and Rockefeller was the undisputed king of it. His fortune, when adjusted for inflation, sits at around $340 billion. Rockefeller founded Standard Oil in 1870, and through a mix of aggressive business tactics, smart investments, and innovation, he created a virtual monopoly on the American oil industry. At its peak, Standard Oil controlled about 90% of all oil production and refining in the U.S. Think about that. Almost every drop of oil in America came through Rockefeller's hands. But Rockefeller wasn't just about making money. Like Carnegie, he became one of history's greatest philanthropists. He gave away vast sums of his wealth to fund education, medical research, and public health initiatives. The Rockefeller Foundation still exists today, continuing the legacy of his charitable work. His dominance over oil shaped the course of American history, but it also led to the creation of antitrust laws after his company was broken up by the U.S. government. Even after the split, Rockefeller's wealth continued to grow, cementing his status of one of the richest people ever. Now, let's go back in time to ancient Rome to meet an emperor whose wealth and power were unmatched in his era, Augustus Caesar. Coming in at number two is none other than Augustus Caesar, the first emperor of Rome and one of the most powerful figures in history. 
His wealth, when adjusted for inflation, is estimated to be around 4.6 trillion. Yes, trillion with a T. As the ruler of the Roman Empire, Augustus controlled the wealth of an entire civilization, which at its height made up about a quarter of the world's population. Augustus didn't inherit his empire, he built it. After the assassination of his great uncle Julius Caesar, Augustus emerged victorious in the power struggles that followed. And he didn't just rule the empire, he expanded it, bringing in even more wealth through conquests and trade. He controlled vast amounts of land, treasure, and resources. But it wasn't just about personal wealth. Augustus's financial policies laid the foundation for centuries of Roman stability. He reformed the tax system, established a standing army, and financed massive public work projects, including roads, aqueducts, and temples, which helped Rome thrive. Augustus's reign ushered in the Pax Romana, a period of relative peace and prosperity across the empire, and his wealth was both a symbol and a tool of his unmatched power. But believe it or not, there's still one person who surpasses even the wealth of ancient Rome. It's time to meet a king whose wealth was so immense that it literally crashed economies. Let's talk about Mansa Musa. Finally, at the top of our list, we have the wealthiest person in the history of the world, Mansa Musa, the 14th century ruler of the Mali Empire. His wealth is almost impossible to calculate, but estimates place it at around $400 billion or more, and some say his fortune could be far beyond that. Mansa Musa's wealth came primarily from gold, and lots of it. During his reign, the Mali Empire was home to nearly half of the world's gold supply. Musa didn't just hoard his fortune, he became famous for his legendary generosity and spending. When he made his pilgrimage to Mecca in 1324, his caravan included tens of thousands of people, camels loaded with gold, and a display of wealth that the world had never seen before. In fact, during his journey, Mansa Musa spent so much gold in cities like Cairo that he caused massive inflation, devaluing gold in the region for years. Imagine being so wealthy that your spending actually breaks economies. But Musa's impact wasn't just about his wealth. He used his fortune to build up the city of Timbuktu, establishing it as a major center of learning and culture in the Islamic world. His contributions to education, religion, and architecture helped shape the legacy of West Africa for centuries to come. Mansa Musa's reign wasn't just about riches, it was about power, culture, and influence on a scale that's almost unfathomable today. His story remains one of the most remarkable examples of historical wealth. So there you have it, five of the wealthiest people to ever walk the earth. From emperors and oil tycoons, to kings who literally owned half the world's gold. Their wealth was unimaginable, but their legacies are what truly stand the test of time. Each of these figures used their fortune in different ways, whether it was building empires, transforming industries, or giving back to their communities. But one thing's for sure, wealth isn't just about money. It's about influence, power, and the lasting impact you leave on the world. If you enjoyed learning about history's richest, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more videos just like this one. And let me know in the comments who is your favorite. Thanks for watching, friends, and I'll see you in the next video.